Wow, the one time she doesn't win gold. Wow, I just realized Alan Smith didn't even know Ejen's name. He called him Tokalbi. And speaking of Alan Smith, he didn't even want to be interviewed until Ejen wore the Podegi. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another review of 2521. This episode really put Hido in a very difficult, controversial situation. I mean, the one time Yudim doesn't win gold, it, it goes downhill. I'll talk about that. And before I start the review, I just got to say two things. Who is Hido's husband? And who is Dalun? First, let's get to the beginning of the episode. We get our very first reference of Hido's husband. We still don't know who he is though. So Hido gives Minche a gift from her dad and it's a ballet outfit. I guess the dad didn't know that Minche temporarily quit ballet, but we know she's going to go back later on. So... The only new information we got about the dad is that he's alive because Hido said that he's being quarantined for two weeks. I love that Hido was passing down knowledge and advice to Minche because that's what her dad did for her. Her dad was very supportive and he was the main reason why Hido even started fencing in the first place. Man, they are really killing me right now because I really want to know who's her husband. If it's not Ejin, who is it? Then we jump back to 1999 to the finals of the Asian Games and this is where things get really tense. Not only during the match but also the controversy that happened after that. So in the finals is Hido versus Yudim is getting tensed up, is going back and forth. I love that step step hop thing that Hido did. It's what her dad taught her. Eventually Hido won gold. She kept her promise to her dad. Yo it would have been awesome if her dad was physically there watching his own daughter win gold in fencing but we do know spiritually he's looking down at Hido smiling from cheek to cheek. If you guys teared up after watching that moment I wouldn't blame you because I also teared up. <sighs> but then this is where the controversy comes in. Everyone thinks that the ref made a bad call after reviewing the replay. Part of the reason why everyone is so angry is because Yudim is their star. She is the nation's star and Hido is just a no name. Not my words, it was their words. But then during the press conference, things got even more tense. Hido said that it wasn't a bad call. Yudim said it was a bad call. And then you got reporters just pushing the situation on to Hido. In my opinion, man, this girl cannot have a moment to shine. Whenever she has a moment to shine, there's always something crashing down on it. And this whole thing was just too much for Hido to handle, so she just left. And also just left her gold medal on the table which was eventually on the floor. And then Yudim gets angry at Hido because of her behavior during the press conference and then she's saying this whole thing is an error. Man the one time she doesn't win gold, everything is a bad call. And Yudim even said it herself that she had the gold medal stolen from her. I'm like, really? Really? Hido has proved that she worked harder than Yudim. She deserves that gold medal. And just everything that Yudim was saying, in my opinion, and I apologize for my language, it was all BS. So my thoughts on the controversy. First, when I first saw it, I was heated. If I recorded myself doing a reaction to it, you would have seen my face red and just veins popping out of my neck. But now thinking about it, I'm like, so you guys had one star to rely on to win gold, which is great. But now you have two. You know what I mean? So if one fails, you still have another person to win gold for your country. So don't treat the other person as a victim and don't treat the other person as a bad guy. You still got gold. I'm just saying. Now while this whole controversy was happening, Ejin was trying his best to interview Alan Smith, who was the referee of the final match. And he was also the same guy who asked Ejin where to get some tokalbi and also the same guy who couldn't use a chopstick. Ejin went to great lengths to try to get him to talk. He even wore a podegi to get him to talk. If someone pulls up to you with a podegi, they mean business. So Ejin got to interview Alan Smith and he was on the news saying that what he called was fair, period. Now with everything that happened in this episode, don't forget this drama is also a romance, <laughs> which to be honest, I kind of forgot during the moment. But towards the ending of this episode, Hido went back to school, went to the secret room just to crash. And she got locked in thanks to the security guard. But when Ejin finally opened the door, he saw that Ejin was listening to a previous recording of him saying, I love you. Not to Hido. 
to a girl named Dawn. And she said it right back. Who's Dawn? So I did watch the trailer for the next episode. And I think they're hinting that Hido might confess her feelings to Ijin. Well, I mean, trailers do trick you sometimes, but let's see what happens. This was a really good episode, really showcasing the bond that Hido had with her dad. He was her number one supporter, which was so lovable, so sweet, so heartwarming, but also really sad knowing that he passed away. And even though that her dad couldn't keep his promise, Hido kept hers in winning gold. Until the whole controversy is basically making her not win gold, but we know she won gold. Now that I think about it, this was a very dad episode. In the beginning of the episode, talking about Minche's dad. We know he's alive and he's been quarantined for two weeks. And showcasing uh, the bond that Hido had with her dad throughout the episodes. I know I've said this before and I'll say it again. Who's Hido's husband? We know he's alive. But now I also want to know who's Dan. The girl that Ijen said in the recording, I love you too. And yeah, that's pretty much it on the episode and my review. If there's anything I might have missed, please leave it in the comments below. Leave it in the comments of your thoughts on everything that happened. The controversy, the I love you recording. Don't forget, it's still a romance drama. Uh, Yudin being seen as a victim, Hido being seen as the bad guy, and, and of course, everything else. Other than that, if you like this video, leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. See ya.